on September 19th, 2011, longtime Yankees closer Mariano Rivera passes Trevor Hoffman, getting his 602nd career save, becoming the leader for the most saves all time in a career, and many say the greatest closer of all time. Today we're going to dive into how he got to be this great closer on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to help you learn daily about sports history as you increase your sports knowledge. And today's trivia question is, who was the last player in Major League Baseball to wear number 42? Now, Mariano Rivera was born in Panama City, Panama, and he had three other siblings, and he grew up poor in a poor fishing family. And as a young, and when Mariano was young, he played soccer and baseball with his friends on the beach when there was a low tide. And soccer was actually his favorite, with Pele being his favorite athlete. And for baseball, they didn't even have everything they needed. They used cardboard milk cartons for gloves and tree branches as bats and would tape up fishing nets as their ball. And it wasn't until he was 12 years old when he got his first real baseball glove. And as he grew up, he learned the fishing trade from his dad, but he saw how hard it was on his dad as he worked six days a week year round just to try to support what little he could for his family. And at the age, at the age of 17, due to ankle and knee injuries, and shifted his attention to baseball, though he really considered it more of a hobby than an actual profession. And there were scouts that saw him at this time that thought he wasn't actually a major leaguer as he wasn't pitching. He was mainly playing in the field at shortstop. But while playing for a local amateur team, the pitcher actually got hurt and Mariano stepped in to replace him with no experience ever pitching. And he pitched well. And teammates actually contacted a scout they knew for the New York Yankees. And within two weeks, Mariano was invited to a tryout in Panama City for the Yankees. And they saw him as a very, very raw prospect as he had just started pitching, but he was able to hit 85 miles an hour with an effortless throwing motion. And they actually signed him to an amateur free agent contract, giving a 2,500 signing bonus. And so he left home to try to help support his family. Speaking no English and has never left home before, he flew to the United States to report to the Gulf Coast Yankees and would write home to his family, any chance he could, as they didn't have a phone to contact him. Now, given that he was such a raw prospect, he was mainly brought in for relief situations, but he showed great success as he had an ERA of .17 in 52 innings. And they actually started him the last game of the season in an effort for him to possibly reach the qualifications for the ERA title, which would give him a $500 bonus, where he had a seven-inning no-hitter and put him on the map and this got him really noticed by those around the league. So the following year, he would come back and be promoted to Class A to the Greensboro Hornets in the South Atlantic League, where he would actually go to start 25 of the 29 games he would go pitch in. And have, although he would have a losing record of 4-9, his ERA was 2.75 while striking out 123 batters. And again, he continued to get better and move up. The following season, he went to the Class A advanced level for the Fort Lauderdale Yankees. Although he missed part of the season due to elbow stiffness, he was able to start 10 games with a record of 5-3 and three with a 2.28 ERA. So after the 1993 season where he had 12 starts and had a 2.08 ERA despite recovering from elbow surgery, he continued to advance. And the New York Yankees came calling on May 23rd, 1995, where he made his debut against the California Angels, starting in place for injured pitcher Jim Key. Now, Mariano allowed five earned runs in three innings in a 10-0 loss, and he struggled through his first four major league starts, posting an ERA of 10.2. As a result, he was demoted back to the minor leagues. And while he worked out in the minor leagues for a few more years, and he started to have success as a relief pitcher for the New York Yankees and worked his way back up, being the setup man for their closer, John Waitland. And in 1996, over a stretch, he pitched 26 consecutive scoreless innings and recorded his first career save on May 17th against the Angels. And he finished that season with a 2.09 ERA 
and help the Yankees win the World Series that year versus the Atlanta Braves. The following year, their closer and opted instead to have Mariano Rivera become the team's closer, which would help them continue their historic run through the 90s and early 2000s. Now, Mariano Rivera at the time was wearing number 42. And in 1997, the league retired the Jackie Robinson number league-wide, but there was 13 players that were allowed to keep their number as they had already had it before the retiring, which meant, and through his career, Mariano ended up being the last player to wear number 42 in the league. Now, despite having success the f- previous year as a setup man, he was not initially seamless going into his closer role as he blew three of the first six opportunities he had for saves as he felt uncomfortable initially, but he eventually got into his role and was selected as an all-star and ended the year with 43 saves and 1.88 ERA. Then in 1999 is when he got his nickname. As the Yankees production staff started to play the song Enter Sandman by Metallica every time that he would enter the game, similar to the movie Major League when Wild Thing would come in, they would play the song Wild Thing. Mariano became known as the Sandman as he would put all the other batters to sleep. And they got this idea as the previous record holder for the most saves, Trevor Hoffman, would enter to ACDC's Hell's Bells. And throughout the early 2000s, he became known as one of the best closers throughout the league. He was a 13-time All-Star and would help the Yankees win three straight championships from 1998 to 2000 as well as being the World Series MVP in 1999. In 2002, he had his 225th career save, becoming an all-time saves leader for the Yankees. After the 2010 season, Trevor Hoffman, who was the all-time saves leader, retired with 601 career saves. And starting the 2011 season, Mariano was just 42 saves behind him. And on September 19th at Yankee Stadium against the Minnesota Twins, he came in with a 6-4 to four lead and got the final strikeout to get the save to give him his 602nd career save, becoming the all-time leader in saves throughout his career. And he would go on to pitch for another couple years, retiring after the 2013 season with a total and still record of 652 career saves. And he would go on to have his number 42 retired by the Yankees and was a first ballot Hall of Famer giving 100% of the votes from the voters. And in, two, in 2014, Major League Baseball announced a new reliever, relief pitcher of the year and named the AL version after Mariano Rivera, as he is the greatest closer to ever play the game. I want to thank you for listening to today's Daily Sports History. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go tell a friend, share this, play Send that little triangle button to a friend. Say, hey, listen to Daily Sports History so we can both be sports historians together. And come back tomorrow for more Daily Sports History. And the answer to today's trivia question, who was the last player in Major League Baseball to wear number 42? Mariano Rivera. As in 1995, the league retired the number 42 league-wide, but he was one of 13 players grandfathered in And he was the last one to wear number 42 and have it retired also by the Yankees.